Today, I'm going to expose the biggest AI lie that's fooling millions of people right now. Those GPT-5 benchmarks flooding social media, they're 100% fake, and I have the proof that will shock you. But here's what's really wild. While everyone's talking about fake GPT-5 numbers, the real AI race is happening right under our noses. I'm going to show you which company is actually winning and why OpenAI might be in bigger trouble than they want you to know. Hey, if we haven't met already, I'm the digital avatar of Julian Goldie, CEO of SEO agency, Goldie Agency. Whilst he's helping clients get more leads and customers, I'm here to help you get the latest AI updates. Before we dive in, Julian Goldie reads every comment, so make sure you comment below with your thoughts on this massive AI deception. So here's what happened. These benchmark charts have been going viral everywhere. Everyone's sharing them. They show GPT-5 crushing every other AI model, getting perfect 100% scores on math tests, destroying Google's Gemini, making Grok look like a toy. Millions of people saw these charts. AI influencers shared them. Tech YouTubers made videos about them. Everyone was talking about how GPT-5 is going to change everything. But here's the thing that should have been a red flag. OpenAI never released it. They never even said they were testing it publicly. Yet somehow these perfect benchmark scores just appeared out of nowhere. And that's when Flavio Adamo dropped a bomb on social media. He posted the truth that nobody wanted to hear. Those GPT-5 benchmarks everyone's reposting are 100% fake. Wait, what? The whole internet got fooled by fake charts. But it gets worse. Way worse. See, while everyone was arguing about fake GPT-5 numbers, I went digging into what's actually happening in the AI world right now. And what I found will blow your mind. First, let me show you the evidence that these benchmarks are completely made up. I spent hours searching through every official OpenAI announcement, every research paper, every leak from credible sources. You know what I found about GPT-5 benchmarks? Nothing. Zero. Not a single legitimate source. OpenAI hasn't released GPT-5. They haven't even finished GPT-5. Sam Altman, their CEO, said it might come in summer 2025, but even that's looking shaky. But here's where it gets really interesting. While everyone was distracted by fake GPT-5 news, the real AI race was heating up behind the scenes. And guess who's actually winning right now? It's not who you think. Let me tell you about what's really happening at OpenAI. They just released something called GPT-4.5. Sounds impressive, right? Well, not so fast. GPT-4.5 costs $75 for every million input tokens. That's insanely expensive. To put that in perspective, that's like paying $75 to read 750,000 words. A typical book has maybe 80,000 words. So you'd pay $75 to read about nine books worth of text. And here's the kicker. Despite being so expensive, GPT-4.5 is getting crushed by cheaper competitors on actual benchmarks. On science questions, it scores 71.4%. But a Chinese AI called DeepSeek scores 79.7% and costs way less. On math problems, GPT-4.5 gets 36.7%, but OpenAI's own O3 mini model gets 87.3%. So OpenAI made their most expensive model ever, and it's losing to their own cheaper models. That doesn't sound like winning to me. But wait, there's more. OpenAI is so unsure about GPT-4.5 that they're already planning to kill it. They announced they're shutting down GPT-4.5 API access on July 14th, 2025. That's just a few months after launch. When was the last time you saw a company launch their flagship product and then announce they're killing it three months later? That's not confidence, that's panic. Meanwhile, while OpenAI is struggling with expensive, underperforming models, their competitors are eating their lunch. Elon Musk just dropped Grok 4, and the leaked benchmarks for this one are actually real. Grok 4 scores 45% on something called Humanity's Last Exam a test so hard that most AIs fail completely. That's double what Google's best model achieved. On coding tasks, Grok 4 scores 75 on SWE Bench, which measures real-world programming skills. That beats most models available today. And here's the crazy part. Grok 4 is already available to developers right now. While everyone's waiting for the mythical GPT-5, Elon just shipped a working product. But here's what really worries me about this whole fake benchmark situation. It shows how easy it is to fool people in the AI space. Think about it. Someone made fake charts, posted them online, and millions of people believe them without checking. Tech influencers with hundreds of thousands of followers shared them as fact. This tells me that most people, even people who should know better, 
aren't actually following what's happening in AI, they're just repeating whatever sounds exciting, and that's dangerous because while everyone's chasing fake GPT-5 hype, the real AI revolution is happening somewhere else. Let me tell you what's actually coming that nobody's talking about. Chinese AI companies are moving crazy fast. DeepSeek just released a model that performs almost as well as OpenAI's best models, but costs a fraction of the price. Alibaba's Quinn is beating GPT-4 on many tasks. These companies aren't wasting time on marketing hype. They're just shipping better products faster. And here's something that should scare every business owner watching this. While American companies are focused on making expensive, premium AI models, Chinese companies are making AI that's almost as good but way cheaper. What do you think happens when businesses can get 90% of the performance for 10% of the cost? They switch. Fast. This is exactly what happened with manufacturing, with solar panels, with electronics. First, Chinese products were cheaper but lower quality, then they got better while staying cheaper, then they dominated, we might be watching the same thing happen with AI right now. But there's another player in this game that most people are sleeping on, Meta. Mark Zuckerberg just hired away some of OpenAI's best researchers. He's spending billions on AI development. And here's the key difference. Meta is making their AI models open source. That means any developer, any startup, any company can use Meta's AI for free. While OpenAI is charging $75 per million tokens, Meta is charging zero. How do you compete with free? You don't. This is why I think OpenAI might be in serious trouble. They built their whole business on being the best AI company. But what happens when other companies make AI that's almost as good for way less money? And what happens when some companies make AI that's completely free? OpenAI better hope that GPT-5 is absolutely incredible when it finally comes out. Because right now they're losing on every metric that matters. Price, performance and speed of innovation. But here's what this means for you as a business owner or someone who uses AI. First, don't fall for hype and fake benchmarks. Always check your sources. If someone shows you amazing AI results, ask where the data came from. Second, don't put all your eggs in the open AI basket. Test other models. You might find that cheaper alternatives work just as well for your use case. Third, keep an eye on open source AI. If Meta's models get good enough, you might be able to run powerful AI on your own computers without paying monthly fees to anyone. The AI landscape is changing fast. The companies winning today might not be the companies winning tomorrow. And speaking of winning, let me tell you about something that can help you win in your business right now. If you want to stay ahead of these AI changes and use them to grow your business, you need to join my AI Profit Boardroom. It's the best place to scale your business, get more customers, and save hundreds of hours with AI automation. Inside, I show you exactly which AI tools actually work, which ones are just hype, and how to implement them in your business without getting fooled by fake benchmarks and marketing tricks. Also, if you want a free SEO strategy session to see how AI can help you get more customers from Google, there's a link in the comments and description below. And if you want to dive deeper into AI tools and strategies, check out the AI Success Lab. We have an SOP and process for everything, plus over 100 use cases that show you exactly how to use AI in real business situations. You can see how I show a checklist of 100 different tutorials that we give away as freebies every day inside the community feed. I scroll through the community so you can see all the other stuff you get, along with all the training videos in the AI Success Lab. On top of that, we have over 14,000 members. So you know you're joining something bigger than yourself. You're not just getting training, you're joining a community of people who are actually using AI to grow their businesses. The link is in the comments and description, along with access to all the video notes from this episode. But here's my final thought on this whole fake GPT-5 situation. In a world where AI is changing everything, the most valuable skill isn't knowing which model has the highest benchmark scores. It's knowing how to tell what's real from what's fake. It's knowing how to test things yourself instead of trusting random charts on social media. And it's knowing how to adapt when the landscape changes because it's going to keep changing fast. The companies and people who figure this out will win big. The ones who chase hype and believe fake benchmarks will get left behind. Which group do you want to be in? Let me know in the comments below and make sure to subscribe because I'll be tracking the real AI developments, not the fake ones, and sharing what actually matters for your business. Talk soon.